What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free journal selected reading. Tabs to Sage, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply to apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I received a channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. Every like, subscribe, share. And donation to the channel, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Um, I'm going to do the song real quick before I forget. Just saying. Hope everybody is doing well. I forgot it on the last reading. That was a great reading. Okay, so I'll go ahead and deliver the channel while waiting on it. So the channel message I received was, um, a Pisces has been protecting um, a Scorpio, uh, but I heard it's about to uh, backfire in their face in a huge way. For some of these Pisces, um, it is uh, withholding information from a feminine energy in, a, in their workplace. For some, it is um, a baby mama. Baby Mama Pisces is what I heard. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates um, in your life. Um, Pis uh, it sounds like uh, Femme Pis Pisces. The River is Rising by Slash F Miles Kennedy. The River is Rising by Slash F and Miles Kennedy. That's the song. Um, so... Okay, so it sounds like it's feminine energy. Pisces is in the baby, baby mama situation. Now, in the workplace situation, it could be a masculine Pisces or a thin Pisces. You have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate. Uh, but there's two different such situations. The first situation is a workplace situation. Uh, Pisces energy, withholding information I heard from a fem energy on a Scorpio. Um, but I heard it's about the backfire in a huge way. So the situation's about to backfire. They're strategically withholding information from a fem energy in their workplace about a Scorpio. They know something on this Scorpio. It sounds like a uh, sounds like a Scorpio masculine. Um, well, definitely in situation two, it's a Scorpio masculine. Um, situation one, it could be a um, fem or a fem or a masculine Scorpio. I feel it. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Situation two is definitely a masculine. But situation two, it could be fem or masculine Scorpio. Um, Pisces, Pisces in situation one, if you're situation one, you can be a masculine or femme. The Scorpio could be masculine or femme, I'm feeling. And then, and, and there's a femme energy in your workplace, you're strategically withholding this information from, is what I heard. But I heard it's about to backfire. So this is about to backfire in this workplace situation. You strategically withholding this information from this feminine energy coworker um, or boss or manager or supervisor or CEO or what have you. Um, Pisces, masculine or femme Pisces. But it's regarding a Scorpio. Now, maybe for some Scorpio works for you with you. Maybe for some they don't. Um, you have to plug in your life however it resonates. I feel for a lot of you guys, they probably don't work with you. Um, but for some they may. You plug it in however it resonates. Situation two, it's some kind of baby mama energy. You are the baby mama in this situation, Pisces. So you are baby mama Pisces. Um, and Scorpio, it sounds like, is... Um, Somebody, now whether it's your baby daddy or somebody else, um, I feel for some it's your baby daddy. And I'm just being serious. I feel for some it's your baby daddy. Um, but you're protecting this person for a strategic reason. Um, that's why I feel it's masculine energy. Because I feel for some it's your baby daddy. But for some it could be a fem, for some it could be a fem Scorpio too. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, but for some I feel it's your baby daddy. And I'm just being serious. I didn't specifically hear that, but. Plugging in the message, it kind of sounds like it's your baby daddy for some. Um, but for some, it could be somebody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. But Master of Scorpio or baby daddy Scorpio, you're protecting them for some strategic manipulative reason, or not strategic manipulative reason. You're protecting them for some strategic reason. You're withholding information from a feminine energy. I think this could be 
Now, this is in your personal life, professional life, neighbors. I mean, this could be any fem energy over here with baby mama, Pisces, and Scorpio, possible baby daddy, or somebody else, Scorpio. Um, it could be anybody, anybody. Um, this is specifically a workplace situation. This is not. So this really could be anybody, this fem energy you're strategically holding, withholding information from. But I heard it's about to backfire in a huge way in this situation, too. So you have to plug in your life however it resonates. If that resonates for you, um, however that resonates. It is about to backfire in huge ways. These people think withholding information is the smart route to go, but it's actually about to benefit this feminine energy in huge ways. Huge ways. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, so I've heard... Um, so you Pisces in the workplace or you Pisces in uh, baby mama Pisces, you, I heard you guys think that um, strategically withholding this information from this feminine energy, either your coworker or your boss, manager, CEO, or what have you in your workplace, femme energy, or this femme energy, and however she plugs in, in your life over your uh, femme energy, baby mama Pisces, Scorpio, et cetera, et cetera. You think, um, Withholding the information from the fem energy is a um, is going is smart basically. You think it's smart. You think it's a smart route to go, the best route to go, strategic route to go. But I heard it's actually about to benefit the fem energy in huge ways. Um, and and to be honest, if you really think of sit here and think about the situation from the spiritual messages and the downloads, yeah, it will because. The fem energy, you withholding the information, strategically withholding the information from her. When she, if she has, especially if she has to go in a legal, uh, legal court of law situation, she can honestly get up there and not perjure herself and say, I was not told of this situation. Big, I was not aware of this situation. No one told me. Because she was never told. And she can get up there with a clean, guilty, uh, clean and not guilty conscience and say nobody ever told her because nobody ever told her. And that's just the truth. So, I mean, you think you're doing, uh, maybe you want to entrap, I feel cool for some, you want to keep this feminine energy stuck. Um, or you want to entrap them in some shape, form, or fashion, or you just don't want them to know for some reason. But... Um, it's about to benefit her. Now, whether she has to go into the court of law soon or not, it is about to benefit her in some shape, form, or fashion. So you think you're doing the right thing and the strategic thing over here, Pisces, in the workplace situation, or baby mama Pisces. But in reality, it's about to really benefit her. So you plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have like this. Journey, number two could be a very significant number. And number 29, we have the world, the world reversed. This feminine energy is about to, she has been very delayed and stuck for a long time. But things are about to positively speed up for her in huge, positive, wonderful ways. She's about to travel away from the situation. Many beautiful things are about to happen for her. You are going to be very, very jealous. And one of these particular Pisces is going to end up in jail soon. Very soon. And prison will come. Oh, wow. This is strong. Okay. So I heard this feminine energy has been delayed and stagnant and stuck for a long time. So maybe you wanted to keep her delayed, stagnant, and stuck, Pisces. That's what I'm thinking here. That's exactly what I think. I don't think you have good intentions for this feminine energy. I think you um, you want to keep her stuck and stagnant. Um, I don't think you truly care about the situation. I think you, can, you care about what you can get from the situation. This is exactly what I think. But you plug it in, how it resonates. But however that resonates, um, I heard it's about to speed up for her soon. It's um, Her delays are about to be over. The stuck and stagnancy is about to be over. It's about to speed up for her. 
Um, it had not been for a hot minute, a long hot minute, it sounds like, but it is about to. So she is stuck and stagnant right now, world reversed, but it's about to speed up for her. Cycle stuck. Cycles either stuck or creaking. Uh, but it's about to speed up. Cycles about to change for her. But you intentionally keeping her stuck over here by withholding withholding information. You think it's smart, but buddy, it's about to it's about to backfire. Journey upright. I heard she's about to start um, things about to start speeding up. She's about to uh, have wonderful things happen to her soon and quickly. So she could be traveling. She could get offered. Um, she could uh, travel for personal. She could travel for, for for professional. She could travel for both. Um, she's about to start traveling. Um, getting out, seeing things more. Um, it could be personal, professional, both, what have you. And also, this also could be for the one particular Pisces in this situation, because we're drawing in two Pisces in here. Um, you have to put yourself in where you fit. That's about to get go to um, jail and then not her prison. So jail and then prison energy. Um, journey to the big, big house energy. You plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates. Okay, we're done. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.